Now let's look at problem 41. Uh, problem 41 asks us to find the horizontal asymptote of the function f of x is equal to 4x cubed plus 1 divided by 2x cubed plus the square root of 16x to the 6 plus 1. Now at first glance, I think that this problem might look a little bit harder than some of the other problems in the section that have been asking to find the horizontal asymptote because you see that there's a square root in the denominator, and that means that this is not really a rational function. Uh, it's not a polynomial divided by a polynomial. But what I want to do is I kind of want to treat it as if it were, and notice that on the top, the highest power of x that I get is an x cubed. On the bottom, the highest power of x that I get, here there's an x cubed, and over here, there's an x to the 6th, but it's not really an x to the 6th right here. Uh, this is an x to the 6th that eventually will get square rooted. Now, unfortunately, I can't break this square root up and take the square root of the first guy plus the square root of the second guy. That's illegal. Uh, but I can say that, come on, the square root of 16x to the 6th is kind of sort of like an x cubed. And so I'm just going to treat it kind of like an x cubed. And so it's kind of like the highest power of x on the bottom is sort of an x cubed. So let's just divide the top and the bottom by x cubed and see what comes out. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the limit as x goes to infinity of this guy. So let's rewrite real quick. This is 4x cubed plus 1 divided by 2x cubed plus the square root of 16x to the 6 plus 1. Okay, and what I said I needed to do next is let's divide the top and the bottom by x cubed. So this is going to be the limit as x goes to infinity of 4x cubed plus 1 divided by x cubed divided by 2x cubed plus uh, square root of 16x to the 6th plus 1 over x cubed. Now let's simplify this a little bit. The top is easy. I have a 4x cubed over x cubed which is just limit as x goes to infinity of 4 plus 1 over x cubed. On the bottom, I get a 2x cubed over x cubed, which is 2, plus a square root of 16x to the 6 plus 1 over x cubed. But what I want to do is now I want to be a little bit clever. And the way that I'm going to be a little bit clever is I want to move the x cubed inside of the square root. But if I put a square root over an x cubed, then it wouldn't be an x cubed anymore. It would be an x to the sixth power. So the square root of x to the sixth is x cubed. So another way of writing this would be the following. I could write that this is the square root of 16x to the 6th plus 1 divided by x to the 6th. Think about that for a second if that doesn't come to you immediately, that x cubed is the square root of x to the 6th. They're the same thing. Okay, so let's simplify. So I still have limit as x goes to infinity. On top, I still have 4 plus 1 over x cubed. On bottom, I still have 2 plus, now I get the square root of 16x to the 6th divided by x to the 6th, but that's just 16. And then I get plus 1 over x to the 6th. And now I'm ready to take a limit. Think about this for just a second. 
uh, as x goes to infinity, 1 over x cubed gets small, so that's going to 0. And 1 over x to the 6 gets small, that's going to 0. So all that's left is on top, I have a 4. And on the bottom, I have a 2 plus the square root of 16. Or rewriting, on top I have a 4. On bottom I have 2 plus 4, which is 6. In other words, I have 2 thirds. And if I want to write this as a horizontal asymptote, uh, I, as I'm getting close to infinity, this thing's approaching 2 thirds. So the answer is y equals two-thirds, and that is my horizontal aspect.